Eric on the road in Georgia uh, is with us, and we're getting response from a lot of your uh, fellow shipmates, I should say, and Eric is one of them. Eric, tell us about yourself. Well, Laura, it's extremely frustrating that Captain Honors is being labeled as a gay basher and homophobic. But as a gay man on board that served on both of those deployments under Captain Honors, I nor any of the other gay service members on board that I knew of at the time found those videos offensive. It was apparent that the intent behind them was just good-natured humor to raise the morale of the ship. And it's appalling that it's gotten to this level. Mm -hmm. So, Eric, I know people across the country, like, how do we know that Eric is not just a planted call and that he's really that he's really a gay person who served on the Enterprise. I don't know how we can test that, but, uh, but well, tell well, us how more. how do you test the sexuality of anybody, honestly? But... You know. <laughs> when did you I serve on the Enterprise? When did you serve on the Enterprise? I was there for both 06 and 07. And what was your I, position? I reported, I reported a couple of weeks right before we left on the 06 deployment. And what did you do? What was your uh, position? What, I was a nuclear electronics technician. Oh, smart. Okay, so so your your sense and look, we we're with Ryan in Virginia. I guess Ryan and Virginia both were there at the same time. Uh, Eric, uh, you you never heard Captain Honors say or do anything that made you as a gay man uncomfortable on the ship. Absolutely not. Never once <laughs> did I get the feeling from him that he was a bigot or any of his names that he's being being called today. What was the what was the atmosphere on the ship? I mean, it was a tight knit group. Obviously, I mean, you're in close quarters with each other. Uh, you all have to entertain each other, have fun. I'm sure. I'm sure some people at some point get offended. I mean, that's life. I mean, we all do, right? I mean, I get offended by blonde Joe. <laughs> Not really, but uh, you know, we can all get offended. But but it was was it was it an atmosphere? And I'm just trying to get inside all of your heads. When you saw well, it, Captain it, it, Honors, what did you feel good? Did he make you feel good to be serving in our Navy? Oh, absolutely. You take all week in living in an extremely stressful situation, and for one night, Saturday night, you get to have a little fun, to sit down and laugh, to forget that you're in a war zone, and to actually feel like a human again. And this was the man that helped create that atmosphere. Hmm. We, just, we just got an email, and all of you can, and Eric, stay on with us. Uh, all of you can respond to this. I just got an email from uh, Charles in Carson City, Nevada. He said this, the firing of Captain Honors is purely to reinforce the repeal of don't ask, don't tell. If his judgment is so bad, what does that say about the judgment of the people who promoted him? This is a successful effort to put fear into naval personnel and reinforce political correctness. Uh, and he went on to talk about Major Hassan and, and hurting people's feelings in wartime. Is, you know, this, is, this is obviously going to happen. Uh, Eric, as a gay man, do you feel like Don't Ask, Don't Tell has anything to do with this? The timing is certainly interesting. It is extremely interesting, but I personally don't feel that it does. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, so do you just I think mean, it's a from, coincidence from that Don't Ask? people that I knew that were on there, and none of yep. them taking offense to these videos, there should be mm -hmm. no reason why it's being called anti-gay or homophobic. Well, you know what, Eric? You, you should get all your fellow shipmates together. But uh, anyway, we're going to keep on with this. Eric's going to stay with us. Ryan, Virginia, if you can, we're going to get your calls, especially naval personnel. I want to hear from you specifically. 800-876-4123. The Laura Ingram Show.